Hello and welcome to Nee Sports and as promised again we have someone very special joining us and this time all the way from London it is someone who has captained England he has represented England in 79 test matches and 92 ODIs a very popular figure he was also the president of the Marylebone Cricket Club I've got with me Mike Gatting thank you Mike for joining us absolute pleasure And yes Sachin Bajaj joining us as always from the Global Cricket School and this video is presented to you by the Global Cricket School. Hi Sachin. Hi, good to be back on. You know when we talk about England coming to India, the challenge against spin and there are very few people that you can talk to from England about that and I think Mike is one of those people because you just look at the record that he has on Indian soil. It's just phenomenal. He, on Indian soil, he has played 13 Test matches, has scored 862 runs at an average of 50.7 and two hundreds and three fifties. Both those hundreds came on that successful trip in 1984-85, which was eventful for a lot of reasons. So, Mike, it was. yeah, I mean, you tell me about it because you come here and there was an assassination of the PM. You go to Sri Lanka, you come back, and then someone from uh, the British Embassy or consulate was assassinated here in India. And to all that, you manage to recover. You lose the first Test match, and you go on to win the series. What was that like? Well, it was very interesting because I know when we got off the plane, we arrived in Delhi. It was uh, sort of early in the morning, as it normally is, um, and most of us got about four or five hours sleep before we wandered down to the breakfast room. And somebody got me at the bottom of the lift. I was coming out of the lift, and said, "Oh, you won't believe it, Gat." He said, uh, "Indira Gandhi's been assassinated." I said, "Oh, do I look that? Am I asleep still, or are you you trying to you trying to trying to make fun of me?" I said, uh, "She wouldn't have got assassinated." Anyway, I wandered in the breakfast room, and all of a sudden. Uh, there was a lot of chatter going on, and there were these sort of fires sort of breaking out all over Delhi, um, and so we had to have 13 days mourning, uh, and, we, and we we managed actually to get the uh, prime ministers uh, from Sri Lanka who came up. His jet took us back down to uh, to Sri Lanka, and it rained for a lot of the time down there. Funnily enough, and uh, the one day, one of the one days we got out, we were at hotels about uh, I don't know 40 or. Oh, sort of about half a mile down the road uh, was a was a naval yards where the dockyards were, where all the naval boats were, and we were out there, sort of having our stretches on the front lawn at the hotel. And all of a sudden, this bomb went off, and it was huge. And up whenever everybody hit the deck, and and uh, that sort of you know trying to get away from uh, uh, obviously all the all the bad things that were happening uh, in in India, we we find some down in Sri Lanka too. But uh, we we came back up to 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 Bombay, hoping everything had settled down and. We went to, to the uh, deputy high commissioner, actually, a guy called Percy Norris, <laughs> and he looked after us very nicely. And um, we were just on the way to the ground the following morning, and we were told to turn around because he had been assassinated on the way to oh, work, gosh. just 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 on the next roundabout that we were due to go through, out, coming out of the uh, hotel in uh, Mumbai. There, the Taj. Anyway, uh, what happened after that was 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 quite incredible. I've never seen anything. You know, people were getting very worried and. And I just wonder what would happen now, uh, when you think all those sort of things would happen with the, with the security and everything. And uh, anyway, we, we we all decided we would stay. Um, we didn't uh, have had much practice, and there was obviously a lot of things on people's minds. Um, and, and we just got on with it. We we got hammered. Siva Siva Ramakrishnan bowled absolutely magnificently. Got 12 wickets uh, in the match. Um, we hadn't seen him before. Um, And I think uh, you know he he really did bowl very 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 well, and and we 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 didn't cope with it as well as we might. The one bright spot I suppose uh, for me was I got my first Test hundred, yes. uh, which was a huge uh, uh, burden off the shoulders. Um, and yeah, the, I suppose the sad thing was we actually lost a Test match, so it took a bit of shine off it because it would have been nice to have actually draw it, but uh, we didn't. Um, and you know it was. Uh, It was it was a yeah a bit of a, a bit of a wake up call, but it was strange, you know. Um, although we lost the test match, um, I think all the things that happened before, you know, people sort of by the time we'd finished, everybody was a little bit more comfortable. We had another practice match in before the second test match in Delhi, and I think you know there was a good serious conversation, and I think if anything, it brought the team together again. Um, you know, sometimes in India or, or, or Pakistan, you lose something like that, you can actually you see the seam sort of. Just falling apart from each other, but somehow uh, David Gower did really well, and he, he got the guys 
together and we uh, we sort of sorted ourselves out a little bit. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the, the tour started to get better. But again, uh, let me take you back to your first test hundred because I read somewhere that you had a sort of a premonition or you heard something while going to the stadium. Is that true? <laughs> that is very, very true. Um, it, and I don't know how, why, uh, whether it's happened to anybody else before, but I was getting on the bus coming out of the Taj. I remember it distinctly coming down because there are people, people actually, uh, people having a, a bit of a joke. They were was, they was sort of saying to me, oh, I want to sit next to Gat. Uh, Gat can sit by the window and I'll, I'll sit there. And, and if anybody shoots, I'm going to hit Gat before they hit me. <laughs> <laughs> so they wanted to sit next to me for some strange reason. Anyway, that, that's what they were, they were taking the mick of it. But um, no, so I was, I was just about to get on the bus and all of a sudden, I honestly, honestly, uh, it's very true. I heard somebody say, are oh, you going to get 100 today? And I looked round. I thought somebody was taking taking the mick. It was somebody, but I could, there was nobody behind me. Um, <laughs> so I got on the bus. I, I didn't really think about it anymore because everybody was worried about who might get shot on the way to the ground or something stupid like that. Um, and uh, anyway, we got to the ground and um, uh, yeah, I, I was going quite nicely in the first innings, funnily enough, but uh, got out. Uh, and then uh, the second innings, I suppose, we were only trying to just to bat and try and just save the match. Um, so that might have helped a bit. Um, I don't know, but... Uh, I remember coming down the wicket to get my 100 um, and just chipping, uh, I'm not sure if it's Yadav or whether it was Siva, just uh, mid-on was up and obviously uh, <coughs> just managed to chip it over. Uh, it just got over mid-on, I think. And uh, what was nice, actually, funnily enough, was was uh, the uh, the press box. I mean, I was I was relieved. I think most of them were relieved that I've got one at long last because they wouldn't have to keep writing, well, Gatting's just missed out again. And, you know, what's he doing playing test cricket sort of thing? So um, I think they were just as relieved as I, as I was. And uh, it was it was nice to see. But uh, sadly, we lost the test match. But uh, it was a, yeah, it was a strange, strange start to a tour and a very, very strange uh, happening. But it did happen. Mm. Now, before this chat, Sachin, would you like to ask him about uh, the double hundred with Foxy <coughs> Fowler down in Chennai? Because you were talking about it quite a bit, actually. Uh, absolutely game-changing pa- partnership. Uh, Foxy Fowler was one of those. He uh, used to open the batting for Lancashire with Gayan Mendes back in the day. A very formidable opening partnership. And uh, Gayan Mendes was a cricketer who when was asked to play for Sri Lanka. He said, no, I'll try and qualify for England. And Foxy was this player who'd play and miss outside the off stump, play and miss, and suddenly it'd be a brilliant cover drive. And he he came he came good in that series. I don't think he played much after that, but that's the straw that that's not, that's not the straw that broke the camel back. That just broke our back. That that partnership. And I think it was Foster and Ellison who finished it off after that. Yeah, and we had lost the series in uh, in uh, it was in Chennai. I think I think uh, someone got two eighty and someone got two twenty out of y'all. Uh, y'all both got. Big double hundreds. Can I remember you were batting with the Newbury bat back in those days? I still remember a cover of Sports Star where you had the you were wearing a floppy, an England floppy, and uh, you were batting with your Newbury bat, and you were on the cover. Both you and Foxy were on the cover of Sports Star. Never forget that. Yeah, uh, I don't think we ever will either. Um, it was uh, quite an amazing Test match. Um, it was it was a good wicket down at Chennai actually in the Madras. It was uh, you know uh, there's a bit of grass on it. And they always said that if there was one wicket, there was going to be a bit of grass, or maybe two, because uh, at, at Calcutta, Calcutta was uh, was also one where sometimes they left a little bit of grass on. But that Test match was an absolute uh, horrible Test match after Delhi. Uh, that was just uh, smog and rain, and we I think India batted for three days, and, and Sunil Sunil <laughs> kept batting, and I think the crowd got rather irate, and uh, in the end uh, there was a few. Bits of fruit thrown at him, I think, and I had to clear the ground um, before that. But uh, anyway, it was it was Chennai was uh, was was just quite extraordinary. Um, we had a job to do, you know. When you go to a Test match, you, you sort of talk about, you know, let, let's see if we can bowl the opposition out um, if we put them in, because we were thinking about putting them in. But India won the toss and batted, and uh, the bowl, bowl well, Fozzie came in for his first Test match, Neil Foster, and he, he bowled extremely well. Um, along with Richard Ellison, who was swinging the ball, and uh, it was conducive to a little bit of, you know, bowling. So 
Yeah, they, they, they managed to bowl India out, I think, probably about 20 minutes before close of play. And I know Tim Robinson and Foxy had to uh, negate, negotiate sort of the last 20 minutes. And then the following day, all we had to do was bat. And it's nice when you sort of sit down and say, we'll bowl the opposition out, bat for two days, and then bowl them out again. Well, you know, that's basically what happened. Um, uh, I think uh, Tim got out just sort of halfway between lunch and tea on the second day, and I got in with Foxy. And I remember Foxy having batted all day. And there's not much of Graham Fowler. He's quite a thin chap. And it was really hot. It was 90 degrees and I think it was 90% humidity. And I remember all I remember was just going, oh, let's bat till drinks. Let's bat till tea time. Let's, you know, let's just keep going. Let's, and, and you could just see Foxy. If there was, if there was a petrol gauge, it was, it was down to zero by the time he'd, he'd, uh, he'd got to the end of the day. Uh, and we managed to get through to the end of the day. Um, there were some extraordinary fields. I think Ravi Shastri at one stage had the first, I don't know, the first seven two field I'd ever seen. He was bowling left arm over the wicket into the rough and he, uh, he was, uh, he had two players on the offside. He had seven on the leg. Um, <clears throat> and that's sort of where it got to. But, um, yeah, uh, we got through that day. The following day, Lammy and myself had a, had a, a partnership together. He was in his, uh, one of his, uh, good moods and, and got a quick 60, I think. And, and uh, David managed to declare, but uh, not before <coughs> winning. Uh, Azza played a, one of his, well, it was his first hundred of, of three in a row that he got in, in that series as well. Um, and he, he played uh, uh, particularly well. Yeah, he did. In fact, that was his second one. He had debuted at Kolkata when... Okay, had, and got a hundred, you're quite right. Yeah, yes. Yeah. That was one of the <laughs> bright, bright, bright spots for India on that particular day. And Gary, yeah. you didn't have prawns at that Madras test. I think you discovered beauty and you discovered prawns at the next one. <laughs> <laughs> that was 93 4. And, and you mustn't blame the hotel. There's nothing to do with that. I think there was a virus going around the team. Which, uh, so uh, it, was, it, was all, uh, it was all a bit, uh, yeah. It got a bit serious for a little while, but I think in the end, the newspapers made very light of the fact that it could have been one of any 15 dishes that we had that sort of evening. But uh, it was one of those things. But, no, it was a. Uh, yeah, it, it 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 was a an experience. I have to say. I mean, I think Dean Jones tells a lovely story. And poor old, you know, we've lost sadly Dino, but he he played one of his better knocks. I think down there too, where he, you know, he was sort of dehydrated. He got sort of 160, 180 or something, and he he played a, a magnificent knock down there. So it seems to be a place that inspires uh, people to play because it's a good wicket, and the crowd's always good there as well. Um, as they are all around India, to be fair. Um, and uh, that's when we had crowds at test matches, which was very nice. 